Right now, I will be demonstrating the grape effect, or the grapevine effect. So I'll explain to you what it is after you see it in action. As you see here, there are eight magnets. And I'm gonna spill a bunch of magnet balls, there that looks, into the middle. And then they'll, they'll undoubtedly come to these magnet sticks. And then I'll show you what the grapevine, grapevine effect is. So let's place it in the middle. Now that we've placed it in the middle, we'll let go of it in three, two, one. Pretty cool, right? And so, let me show you what the grapevine effect is. So you see right here, there's three magnet balls attached to one magnet stick. The magnet sticks are ferromagnetic themselves, but these magnet balls are. They just stick to magnets but they can't stick to each other. But then you're wondering, how are they sticking to each other then right now? That's because the stick is sending magnetic pulses throughout, throughout its field of area. And so those pulses are weaker, but they still touch these two. And then with those pulses, you can attach even more of them to there. And then, it's kind of like a grapevine. Like that. Another way to think of it is, if there's a bunch of people, there's one person with the power, you want to pass it on to the next person, and to the next, and to the next, etc. Then, let's say the power gets weaker with each person it passes on to. So, then, fin finally, the power is very weak when it gets passed on to this person. Then, that, that is an example of how it works. The magnetism is the power, and it gets weaker as it passes along.